eligibility requirements. Eligibility requirements. Eligibility requirements. Eligibility requirements. Eligibility requirements. Eligibility requirements. How do I make a community post here on YouTube? This is what my posts look like. We can post pictures, polls, and links to our videos. I think they show up in people's feeds on the home screen or if we click on the community tab on our YouTube channel. I used to get a bit miffed about this, that you need 1,000 subscribers to be able to do this. So if you're on that journey right now to 1,000 subscribers, here's a massive sneak peek into what it's like and how it works. You and I are gonna, <laughs> we're gonna learn everything there is to know about community posts because there's this thing called the YouTube Creator Academy and it's a free place where we can learn about every single aspect of YouTube. Now for some reason I've decided to do all 40 courses in one go this year and to do that with you. At the end of each course there's usually an exam so we do this as a game show and a quiz that you and I can play along with and answer the questions and see if we can pass the course together. But this is one of those courses that's slightly different because it's a small topic. I've just got this thing at the end of the course saying check your knowledge. So I think it's only gonna be about three or four questions. So when that happens, you and me get to do the whole course together. I've got the big clock counting down on screen now. That's when the quiz starts. Lesson one is just this video. It's a video that basically covers everything that we're about to cover. So there's a link to that up in the description, uh, up in the description above and down in the link below. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a link to this video up on screen now and in the description so you can watch that at your leisure. So we can now dive straight into lesson number two, which is how to create a community post. Now the first thing we need to do is go to the tab named community from our channel homepage. And in the box at the top, we can create our new community post. And once you're done, click post. Is that it? <laughs> is that lesson, that is lesson two. Now I actually find these really difficult because when you post an image, it crops it to a one by one scale so that it looks good on a phone. So I just tend to put my thumbnail on there, but my thumbnail is obviously landscape and I try and work in some kind of rule of thirds thing going on <laughs> with my big happy shaved head there. The whole image opens up when you click on it, but you've got to kind of crop it to have it appear on the page. But the really good thing is when you put a direct link to a video in your post, it embeds it in a really nice way. You can kind of see a bit of the description and it kind of frames it nicely so that the video is ready to play in the player. Well, I'll be honest with you, that lesson was slightly quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> the clock is still ticking down to the big quiz, so hang on in there. Lesson three, tips for using community posts. Here are some tips and ideas for what to post. Promote a collaboration video with a fellow creator or fan. Poll your audience on what type of video they want to see next. I've actually done that. It was my biggest post. Usually I get about one or two thumbs up on my posts. But this one, look at it. Look how many votes I've had. So I've got to say of the three options, the, the poll has worked the best for me. I don't get the impression many people are even shown it, let alone click on the video link, but this poll was, was something else. We can show off special behind the scenes photos, tease an upcoming special announcement, shout out a fan or fellow creator using an at mention, and if we use channel memberships, create a members only post to show exclusive content only to your channel members. Now I'm on 3000 subscribers at the moment. I don't even know if I'm eligible for channel memberships. Maybe we should do that course next. Well, that was, that was really quick. This is, gonna be, this is gonna be a quick weekend quiz today. Let's go for check your knowledge. The countdown has hit zero. This is the whole point of this video. You and I can answer these questions in real time and see if we, if we pass the community post test. Question one, creators with how many subscribers or more can use community posts to connect with their fans? 10 or 100, 1000 or 10,000? Well, I know that this was unlocked for me at 1000 subscribers, so I'm going to say 1000 subscribers. Great job you'll need to have at least 1,000, and it's kind of cut it off. <laughs> I'm using the Creator Academy app. There it is. Question two, which of the following is not a best practice when using community posts? Polling your audience, replying to individual viewer comments, shouting out a fan, or highlighting a collaboration. Which of the following is not a best practice when using community posts? 
I think I'm going to go for replying to individual viewer comments. Way to go. You can reply to viewer comments directly in the comments section. So save community posts for other types of broader engagement. But this is a good point to plug the, the quiz for the comments. Everything we need to know about YouTube comments. I'll put a link to that on screen now and in the description. That one was slightly longer than this one. Final question, question three. True or false, anyone can create a members only community post. I'm going to go for false because I think you need channel memberships to do that and I'm not up on channel memberships yet so I'm looking forward to that course. Correct, you have to meet specific eligibility requirements. <laughs> I love that phrase eligibility requirements. You have to say it in one breath. Eligibility requirements. 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 I just like the phrase eligibility. Let's hit the big submit button. Quiz complete. How did you do? Have you hit 1000 subscribers and if so have you had a community post why not put your favorite community post a link to your favorite community post in the comments It'd be great to see your examples and if you haven't hit 1000 subscribers yet just have a complaint about not hitting 1000 subscribers yet so we can cheer you on over the 1k subs line so i'm really looking forward to seeing your comments this week and this is like a weekly get together isn't it i'll put up a link to the creator academy course for everything you need to know about youtube comments thanks for joining me on this quiz i'll see you next weekend for the next youtube creator academy course exam